Thank you very much. I really thought I was going to get to meet Keegan Michael Key tonight, and I told everyone on Twitter, so it's, uh, I didn't know we'd be 90 yards away. But I do want to thank my substitute teacher, Mr. Garvey, who said to me, B. Rendon, someday you'll be standing up accepting a Peabody Award. And I said, Mr. Garvey, my name's Brendan. It's not B. Rendon. Nobody in this room has seen Key and Peele, clearly. Oh, you did. Thank you for that. Google it. It's awesome. Eight million views and not one of them in here, right? <laughs> Television news is broken. Those are frightening words to hear, even more so than when they're from the CEO and her broadcast president of a major media company while they're recruiting you. I had no idea that Dave Lugy and Gracia Marturi were about to reinvent their company and our craft. I am honored, Dave, to accept Tegna Media's first Peabody Award for the very first investigation we did together. We talked about doing great work at IRE two years ago, and here we are. Vice President of News Michael Valentine, WXIA General Manager John Duchesne, they made it all happen along with the team behind me. News Director Jennifer Rigby, Executive Producer Jeff Reed, and our web guru Phil Kish, who I insisted had his name as a byline. These people gave me the greatest gift you could ask for, freedom. And as a storyteller and as an investigator, being able to follow my gut, that is the greatest gift of all. Thank you to my sister, Kathleen Key, for broadcast legend, now retired, uh, for blazing a path in broadcasting for me to follow and being both my mentor and toughest critic. And to my wife, Tiffany, who gave up a job at CBS News as a producer, and her Brooklyn apartment for us to go to the heartland to tell great stories and raise two wonderfully frustrating children together. <laughs> you know, these people believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. This was a solo project. In fact, I'm recording it right now in 360 VR. I'm a multi-skilled journalist, a one-man band. I'm my own photographer, my own editor, my own producer, researcher, and investigator. But I am not a reporter. I am a storyteller. The George Foster Peabody Award celebrates stories that matter, not reports that matter. Reporters tell you what happened. Investigators show you why it happened. And storytellers make you care. So together, we can solve the problem. You know, this same cell phone in my back pocket that can summon an Uber car to 55 Wall Street would send my 911 call across the Hudson River to Jersey City or maybe Brooklyn, and the re rescuers are searching in the wrong state. Well, that's what happened to Chanel Anderson, a brave woman who drowned on the phone with 911 dispatchers in Georgia. And those difficult words to hear, but words, her last words, that had become a rallying cry to fix our nation's broken 911 system. We will never stop investigating. We will never stop pushing for solutions. And we will always hold the powerful accountable. Finally, I'd like to thank the Peabody jurors and the University of Georgia. Who would have thought the state of Georgia would give you an award for holding the state of Georgia accountable? George's governor still won't answer our questions, but tonight he gave me a Peabody. Thank you very much. <laughs>